Abby and today we are playing Star Wars X-Wing. Um, I am really excited to play this because I have never played a miniatures game. Um, I haven't played X-Wing before and that's why I have brought in my good friend Phil. Hi Phil. Hi. Hi. Um, because you're somewhat of a, a pro at X-Wing. Um, pro is a bit generous but yeah I, I, I love the game and I play quite a lot. Um, it's, it's, it's a really good game that it's got a lot of opportunities to go and play so most weekends I find myself hanging out with some friends, playing some games. Okay. It's good fun. So, in terms of tournaments and things, because I know you do enter tournaments. I do, yes. You, you win some tournaments as well? I win some. Win some? Um, win some, don't win some. Uh, obviously, every time I lose, it's the dice's fault. Of course. It's, it's never me, it's no. always the dice. Yep. <laughs> uh, and every X-Wing player ever yep. will agree that well, they'll say the same thing. That's, that's, right? how, it, yeah. that's how it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am excited to jump in and play. I think you're probably going to whoop my butt and just take t take the win on this one but um we'll see maybe maybe i'm, I'm suddenly very really very good at good. rolling dice yeah maybe, maybe. no <laughs> no <laughs> i have a i have a really bad dice curse it's um it's really bad well, let, let's find out how bad <laughs> okay. um so what are we doing how do i play so here we've got just got the bits from the starter set mm -hmm. we've gone for a very basic setup you've got a few rocks on the table mm -hmm. it just makes it more interesting because otherwise you just don't have things to fly around. Right, okay. Um, and, you know, all the cool space battles in Star Wars involve rocks smashing into stuff at, at some point or another. You know, that yep. kind of thing happens. So speaking of cool things from Star Wars, we both have ships as yes. well from the movies. I've got a X-Wing here. The iconic. Um, the iconic X-Wing. Yeah. And uh, it opens and closes, and I think that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's... can show the camera there. Pew! There we go. And and I've got a got? TIE Fighter, which is you know, the, the standard issue, faceless bad guy of the, Imper of the Imperials. Yep. Um, <laughs> and you've got, I noticed you've got two of them and I've only got one. <laughs> yes. Um, that's because your ship's got bigger guns well, okay. and it's got more health. So <laughs> that seems fair. If you remember in the films, TIE Fighters just explode. Right. Yeah. People look at them funny and they kind of explode. <laughs> don't, um, don't look at me. <laughs> and and you know, that's one of the things of the game is it, it tries to emulate the, the action and the, the dynamics that you see in the films okay. where you get all those space fights going on. So it really brings Star Wars to life. Yeah, it's, oh. it's you know, everyone growing up as a kid, you know, you either kind of loved the Jedi or you loved the space fight fights. Right. For me, it was the space fights, which is why I ended up here. Right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, the, the games were really simple. Right, okay. So e each turn has sort of four phases mm -hmm. um, that you do, uh, and then you just kind of rinse and repeat until either someone's dead or you've run out of, time or you've, you've just met an objective that you wanted to meet in the game. So you could just pick any objective that you want to pick? Yeah, you can go, well, let's just play this amount of turns, let's play this time limit, let's play till someone's destroyed. I really like that. I think yeah. that makes it really flexible and yes. like, I mean, you can do it. If you've got half an hour, cool, we've got half, half an hour. hour, let's go. Okay. If you've got a bit longer, I mean, this is obviously the starter set, there's a whole load of stuff that you get. If, you, if you've seen it in a Star Wars film or a yeah. Star Wars cartoon, there's probably a model of it that you can add to your collection and, and play in your games. Build as you go yeah. as well. Fantastic. So, so four phases. Four phases. So the first phase is, is setting dials. Yep. So each ship has a dial which is relatively unique to it. Mm -hmm. um, that dial has a whole load of moves that you can set. So, you will so what we'll do is Abby and I are going to set our dials. And Top you, secret. Yep. <laughs> this is the secret part. This is okay. this is where it gets quite a lot of fun because I quite like the the art on the back as well. It's, yeah. all, it's all very uh, themed. It's very yeah. true to the Star Wars universe. <laughs> so I've put my dials down. Okay. I've set my dials ready to go. Now, your ship is better than mine, so oh. my ships have to of move. Of course, <laughs> my ships have to go first. Yeah. Okay. Um, because that seems fair. The idea is that because they're they're worse pilots, yep. you have more information to play with yep. when you play, and okay. it kind of. It adds thematically to the game. Okay. So I'm going to flip this TIE Fighter's dial over. He's doing a three forward. So we just go move a three forward. Hmm. So that's his first bit done. Now, the next thing I can do. Well, what you did there, I'm just going to jump yep. in there. You grabbed a three forward movement tile, and you, we should show everyone at yep. home. We do actually have uh, there's a one, there's a two, there's a three, a four, and a five. And those are all the, so the straight moves. And you've got, you yeah, you've got do. different moves and, and different templates relate to different things. We have. Curvy ones too. Yes. And these are all the options that we saw on our dials, yes. right? Oh, okay. Cool. So my ship's moved. Mm -hmm. Now I get to take an action. Okay. 
my TIE Fighter has three actions it can do. Either it can do a barrel roll, which is move sideways. Right. Uh, it can take an evade, yep. which lets me be a little bit more defensive. Okay. Or I can take a focus token, which when we get to rolling dice, yep. helps me resolve dice. It makes me modify dice in my favour. Uh, okay, so, so I'm that gonna take seems a very useful, so actually. He's, cause, yeah, it's, it's quite... Dice curse especially. <laughs> yes, it gives you an extra, extra bit of percentage chance of hitting. So he's yep. going to go f forward three and focus. Then okay. this fella... Oh, so both of yours get to move both first? Both of them, because both of mine are worse at flying than yours. Oh, okay. But you get to shoot <laughs> well, first. I'm such a pro flyer. Obviously, yeah. You know. So this fella, he's going to nip forward five. Yeah. He's going to go as far as he can. In, in my head, I hear that TIE fighter scream. Yeah. <laughs> um, that really iconic movie sound effect. Yeah. So he's going to go forward five, and he's going to take a focus token as okay. well. So I'm done. It's now your turn to move. So I reveal what I chose to do. Yeah. Um, because I didn't really know what I was going well, what to, what I was doing. I've gone full forward. Um, so I'm going actually straight towards your type. You fighter. are indeed. But because I'm bigger and stronger, I don't feel too bad about no, that. No, no, no. So you grab the full forward template. OK. And I noticed I didn't have a five forward on my um, no. dial. Is that because of the limits of yes, my ship? Yes, because different ships have got different okay. personalities, as it yeah. were. Um, so some are incredibly fast and incredibly mm -hmm. fragile. Some are quite good at going slow and calculating. And right. it, it, it makes the game more interesting. Interesting. So then you also have the opportunity to strategically choose your your was it your fleet, I yes. suppose? Yeah. Yes, your, your squad, yeah. yeah. Um, so in the game, there's, there's, there's seven different factions that you can play in. Wow. Each faction has several different ship options. Mm -hmm. Each ship option, you've got different pilots with different skills. Oh. So you can go into customising what you play and how you play it. Right. M massively. Okay. Um, and it's one of the, one of the joys of, of one, if you get in, decide to get into the game, yeah. that list building and, and, and tinkering and making something yours is, is really great. Yeah. But at the same time, if you just want to sit down with some friends, play a game, you just do that. And you can just pick up and, pick up and play. show, show a, new, a new person how yep. to play because that's what we're doing right cool. now. <laughs> so, so your X-Wing goes four forwards. Four forwards, sorry. Oh, I pop into there. And how strict are we and is it on uh, <laughs> and slippery tables and moving things around badly? It, it, it's, it's one of the things that, that you know people know that there's, there's, there's a little bit of wiggle room here and there. <laughs> um, you know, we're, that, that, that we're not playing in the World Championship final or that. I think if you're just playing with some friends, yeah. you know, it's, it's just very much a, a fun game to play. Right, yeah, okay. You know, you're trying to outthink and outmaneuver your opponent and hope your dice back you up. Okay. So what action did you want to do? You've got, you've got the option to target lock, mm. which will let you reroll all of your attack dice if you want. Okay. Uh, or just some of them. You can focus, which will let you modify your attack dice if you roll a focus result. Mm. Or you can barrel roll, which will let you reposition. So... Are you trying to hurt me this turn, or are you trying to defend yourself? I'm feeling pretty strong, but am I in range of you? Like, how do I, how do I know if I can shoot at you? Well, <laughs> we're technically on the shooting phase, but okay. if you wanted to take a target lock, obviously you've got a little scanning computer in your, in your, in your X-Wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's picking up, it's trying to do like a radar thing to find yeah. out who it's going to shoot. So if you say, I'm going to do a target lock, yeah. you pick up the range ruler. So oh, but I can't do that before the shooting before phase. Before the shooting phase, unless so you choose to take the target lock. So I have to do it by eye. Yes. Little hint. I think you're in range. If I you think want I'm to in range it. too. I'm oh. gonna. I want to do the action that allows me to re-roll my attack dice. So let's take a target lock. So, first of all, we check for range. Yeah. Yeah, you're I'm comfortable in. in range there or in range there. Who are you gonna pick on? Um, well, this one's coming right at me. So, so let's go for this one. So we're going to take your target lock token. Now your yep. ship's got squad number six on it. Yep. So we put target lock number six on it. Okay, fair enough. So. Now that's the movements and the actions phase. So we've done the dial phase, yep. we've done the movement phase, okay. and we've so done the actions. So we're three yeah. quarters of the way through. So we've through. literally just got shooting to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's that easy. It's really easy. I'm surprised because I've always been a little bit intimidated by miniatures games, and not necessarily this miniatures game in particular, but all miniatures games. They come with big rule books and it's- it's scary. Yeah, there's just like, oh, what, what is this? But ah. this is easy. <laughs> yeah, li literally it's that. So we just put the four, right? Okay. And then, so, just because I moved first, yep. you're better at flying than me. You get to shoot first. Great. So I'm assuming you're going to shoot the guy who you've taken the target lock on. Yep. So your guy has three red dice yep. to shoot Thank with. Thank you. So you roll those three red dice. Here we go. Are those That's good things? really good. So looking at the dice, we've got two hits and we've got a focus result. Now, if you had a focus token, you could spend the focus yep. to turn that to a hit. So I'm just going to show the camera here. So this is the focus token. So the, oh, sorry, focus uh, on the die and focus token. So that all allows to re-roll. Yeah. 
And then what is these? That is a hit. Oh, good, because so I that, rolled two of them. That's just a standard dice. <laughs> now, you do good have... Catch. Thank you very much. <laughs> had a lot of practice. Yeah. Um, you do have your target lock. If okay. you wanted to, you could take your target lock away and you could re-roll the dice that hasn't got a hit on it. Well, let's do that. That seems let, like let's a just sensible try and kill thing things. to do. That's oh. uh, another focus. Okay, so... So you've got two hits. Now, I have three green dice. Yep. The green dice are your evade dice. So your red dice is yep. for hitting. Your green dice is for not being hit. Okay, and you have used a focus. So I, I haven't assume... used my focus, so I can use my focus on defense. Yes, so you can if so, you roll yeah. badly. So okay. if I roll badly, I've got the opportunity to modify that. So I roll my three dice. Oh, it's terrible. So you, I assume blank just means blank, nothing. Blank means nothing. Nothing happens. So what we do now is we compare dice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to spend my focus yep. to turn that to an evade. Oh, okay. Uh, so if I had three evades yep. and spent the focus, it turns all of them at the same time. It's not just on a one-for-one -one basis. Got it. it. does all of them. So it's quite powerful. Yeah. Uh, but then we compare dice. So you've got two hits. Yeah. I've got an evade. Yeah. And I've got two blanks. Okay. So that one cancels that dice off. Yeah. One hit goes through. So I take a damage card. Yeah. Uh, this ship is number one. And I put a damage card on my ship number one. Okay. I only have three health. So okay. if I take two more damage cards. All right. My ship's gone. Okay, so I'm, I'm like you're, a third you're of the way right. there. I'm you're doing, doing right. okay. <laughs> I get to shoot back though. Oh, well you didn't mention that before. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, first of all, I'm going to see if this guy, well we know this guy can shoot you because yep. you shot me. Yeah. And is the range always the same depending on what ship you're playing with or does that change? Range one to three is always the same. Okay. Um, there are modifiers that you can bring into the, the you know, if you want to play with, with the full rules. Yeah. If you're at range one, mm -hmm. you get to roll an extra attack dice. If your okay. target's at range three, yep. they get to roll an extra evade dice. Okay. So what that does is it kind of... Balances it Yeah, out. balances it out a bit, otherwise the big guns would win a yeah. lot easier. And I suppose it makes sense, because if you're further away, you're harder to hit. Yes. Then, you know, yeah. If you're closer, you're easier to hit. <laughs> so I'm, I, I'm not going to shoot you back. Now, my okay. ships only have two dice. Okay. Anyone who's seen Star Wars knows that TIE Fighters just... just no. you know, the, the Millennium Falcon flies through like 20 of them. <laughs> And nothing really bad happens. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to roll my two dice here. Yeah. I've rolled Ooh, two hits. Two hits. That is pretty good going. Uh, and you have got two green dice. And so we defend. should talk a little bit about how you know this, because yes. it is actually all on the card that comes uh, yes. with the... So every ship yeah. has a card that relates to it. Mm. Um, so this red three here, that's my hit. That's your attack dice. attack dice. The, the green two is my evade dice. It is. The, I've got a yellow four. The yellow four, that is how much hull you have. Oh, okay. So, so that's how chunky your ship is. Okay. So um, I've got a fairly chunky ship. It's yeah, you've got a yellow one. four, I've got a yellow three. Okay. And then the blue two? Blue two is your shields. Okay. So you know, that, 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 that moment when switch all power to front deflector screen. So you've yeah. basically you've got this <laughs> wall of energy <laughs> in front of you, um, which means okay. that you, you take your damage on your shields yep. before you take damage on your hull. Okay. So it gives you extra health, but it also means that you don't get hurt okay. while doing it. So I've rolled two hits. So I need to roll my two evade dice. You get dice. your two evade dice. See what we can do. Oh, it's a double focus. So that's not good. That's not good. No. If you had a focus <laughs> token, you could just spend that focus token and flip that. Yes. Know. But as it stands, you've lost two shields. Yeah. So first shield flips over. Oh, these are my shields. These are your shields. Okay. And that shows that your shields have gone. Okay. Um, now there are astromech droids like yep. r2d2 yep. who can repair your shields oh. so if you're playing a fuller game and you yep. want to add in those characterful access the, the yeah, characterful yeah. upgrades you can do that okay so i'm going to see if this guy can shoot now oh he gets to shoot too uh well no, no? because i don't have you in my firing arc oh so oh. if you look at the front of the base oh wow yes i see it i see it the little uh so what i'll do is i'll quickly make the bark but yeah so if we just look at one of the bases You've got that green triangle yeah. there. So if you look at that, that I can shoot in this area in front of me, 45 degree arc in front of me. Um, ships like the Millennium Falcon, yep. they have a turret. Okay. So they can rotate where they're shooting so because they can shoot yeah, just like Luke and Han sitting in the turrets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, it all really does relate so well that, to, yeah. the, to the Star Wars universe. It's this. so thematic, like yeah. it really works. <laughs> and it feels like it's, um, it's really been fought through, you know, and it is very true to the films. Okay, so let's have another turn. Okay. So oh, that—that that is literally, that's that's literally the turn is done. Okay. Um, so oh, I'm going to set my dials. You're going to set your dial. Okay, this is the secret part. Yeah. Mm. Um, this TIE fighter is going to do that. Oh, that sounds scary. And 
this TIE fighter is going to do... Okay, I've decided what I'm going to do. <laughs> going to do that. So when we were having a look at this just before um, we started filming, you mentioned something about an app that comes along with... Yes, as well. so um, there's an official Fancy Flight Games app. Mm -hmm. uh, it's free to download. You just go onto whatever app store you're using, whether yeah. it be Google or Android or whatever. And uh, on there, it's got a squad builder, okay. which lets you basically see every single ship that's available, all the upgrades that you can put on that ship, right. and you can put them together. The game works, if you're playing it sort of more seriously, there's a, there's a points-based system. Yeah. So something very powerful costs a lot of points. Right. Something not so powerful doesn't cost a lot of points. Okay, so you can get deeper into the yeah. strategy and yeah. and you can you can go well if I want to put some torpedoes on my ship that make it really powerful. Yeah. That comes at a premium. Of course, right. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to blow your ship up in one shot. Yeah. Uh, that's that's going to cost you something. That's going to cost something there. <laughs> um, so that's why what we're using here is is roughly balanced because yeah. your your X-wing is worth roughly twice the points of each of my tie fighters. Oh, okay. But it, again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't We're not matter. playing for points at no. the moment. But um, if you wanted, if you wanted to go into that level of game, yeah. you can. But you really don't need to. I like that it kind of has like a two. It has like a beginner mode and an advanced mode yep. within the game. I think that's really. That's and it's really one of those cool. games that you're just always learning. Yeah. Like you see someone do something, and you go, "That's." I would <laughs> never. How did you see that? How yeah. you know? It, it's 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 very much a game where you can appreciate the skill. Yeah. Um, where the movement phase is involved and, and stuff like that. And then, yeah. you, then you cry as your dice let you down, like yours just did then. <laughs> yeah. And I think uh, that I have been fairly unimaginative with my movement, which we'll find out in a well, minute. Well, let's, let's, let's do something. <laughs> I clearly don't know enough about moving around. At the moment, I'm feeling very confident. Exposed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two time wise. Well, no, I feel quite confident, actually. I'm kind of okay. just, you'll right. see. You'll see what so, I'm going to do. Um, let's do this fella first. He's okay. done a hard two. OK. So that means he takes this template. Right. And that's because it's a harder turn than yeah. this two here. Yeah, that would be a, yeah. that would be a soft two yeah. or a, a two bank. Yeah, um, he's gonna go there. Yeah, and again, he's just gonna take a focus token. He hasn't been hurt, okay. so he's not too worried. He's got enough health. Okay, he thinks. He thinks. This guy, a little bit more concerned. He's just gonna go two forwards. Now, for his action, he's gonna take an evade token. Okay. So an evade token lets me turn any one of my blank dice or a dice with a focus result on it to an evade. Right. So it guarantees me not taking one point of damage, which when I've only got two left yes. and you've got quite a big gun. That is sensible. Is is what he's gonna do there. Now Phil, I have a question. <laughs> what happens if we crash into each other? <laughs> ah, right. If we I'm crash, a little bit worried. If we crash into each other, the, the, the thing to imagine is that these two ships are so close together yeah. that they're desperately trying to get a they, they can't really do anything to each other. Okay. So let's flip over your dial and see what you've done. Well I've moved forward one. You know. Which maybe we won't crash. No, we're not going to crash. No. You're going to be safe. Okay. Yeah, if you crash into me, what happens is your pilot is so desperately trying to avoid damage, he, he, you can't take an action. You're, you're right, okay. You can't shoot each other because he, we're too close. He's busy. He's trying, he, to, he's trying not to crash he's into He's trying you. not to crash, yes. <laughs> now, what action would you like to do here? Um, I would suggest maybe taking the focus because you're going to get shot by two of my ships. Yeah, I do time. feel a little bit exposed now. So let's take that focus. The confidence has turned into <laughs> not not so confident. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Cool. But you get to shoot first. I do. So you're going to shoot at my that one, fighter right in front of you. This one's not in range. He's not because, in your firing arc yeah, yet. Yeah, not in my firing arc. So there you go. Okay. Have your dice. Okay. So I, I can't hit you because of your action. I oh, know I've got I can that's one of my dice. So oh, if I one. if I rolled three blanks, right. I can turn one of them to an evade. Okay, so you've only got one guaranteed it's safety. A, but it's a guaranteed safety. Okay, let's see how good or oh, how much my dice like me today. Only only oh, once, really which don't. is that they don't know. They they, they they really don't. No. That's bad. Yeah. I roll my three dice. I rolled just one <laughs> one, one hit. One hit and, and two, two blanks. blanks. <laughs> uh I've rolled a natural evade. Oh. So I don't I don't even need to spend my evade token. I could just sort of, I don't get to keep it. it oh just, you don't get to keep it? So oh, your I'll actions generally only stay in place for a round. Something okay. like a target lock is a longer thing, but yeah. a focus or evade, it's just for that moment okay. your pilot is going, oh, I need to dodge things. I'm really focusing right now. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna shoot you back. Uh, we're gonna go this guy first. Yeah. So I got two dice. Ooh. Ooh. Now this oh. is a new roll. That We've is not a new seen roll, this. This is a critical hit. Yeah. <laughs> so a critical hit. It's slightly bigger than the so this is the regular hit and then this is what you've just rolled. It's got <laughs> it's a little hole in bigger. the middle. Yeah. Um let's find out if 
You take that crit hit. Let's roll your two evade dice. And my two evades. I probably do take that crit. Oh, good. Oh, two, two blanks again. Why, dice? Why? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, your shields are gone. Yeah. So that means your damage card's gone. So the first damage card gets played face down. Yep. Because it's a normal hit. Okay. The next damage card is a critical hit. Mm -hmm. So we play it face up. Okay. That is a direct hit. Direct hit says, suffer one additional damage and then repair this card. Repair this card means flip it back over. So we're okay, going to flip fine. that over. Yeah. And then you take an additional damage. Okay. So I've just done three damage yeah. with my two dice attack because I got lucky and got, got the critical hit roll. But I, I only have two... You've only got four, 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 oh, four, four health left. Four health. You've got one health left. And I've got another TIE fighter to shoot you. Oh, okay. So. Wow, this game's going to be over really quickly. <laughs> I think I should have I should have gone in a different direction maybe or tried to get out of the way of maybe. at least one of the TIE Fighters. Yeah. I mean, you know, hindsight is a beautiful thing, right? It, is, it really is. <laughs> the amount of games I've walked away from going, if only, if only, if I did only this. I'd done this. Um, oh, but at the same okay. time, you know, we've got to imagine that we're flying over the Death Star yeah. and it's it's the, the Rebels' are last, dance, last chance yeah. attack on the Death Star to try and get it. Yeah. And they just got overwhelmed by the amount of TIE Fighters. Yeah. So, you know, how many Rebels flew away from that fight? Right. Not, not a lot, not, right? Not, yeah. <laughs> so this one, he's going to roll his two dice. He's rolled a single hit, which okay. is enough to kill you. However, yeah. you do have your two green dice. Okay. And a focus. All right, here so we go. all you need is one, one dice with a bit of paint on it. Okay. And you're going to be okay. <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, there it is. So there they are. Double natural evade. That's fine. We're good. It's all good. <laughs> so, so your X-Wing lives to fight another day. Um, but that was a much better turn for me than it was for you. Yes, I think so. Right. Let's go into another turn. One more turn? One more turn. Okay. I can, I can do this. Okay. What am I going to do? We set our dials first. I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to retrieve all these tokens. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Can you pass the box for me? Yes, of course. Because I need to get something out of the box. Ooh, that sounds terrifying. So, um, <laughs> oh, I didn't realise there was more. There's more and more, stuff more in the in, box. So much stuff in the starter yeah, set. Yeah, I mean, in the starter set, you get, you get, you just get one X-Wing, but you get about six or seven different X-Wing pilots. You yeah. get lots of tokens. The pretty purple ones are for using the Force. Ooh. So if you want to use Luke Skywalker. Obviously, he gets to use the force and do Jedi-like things. And it comes with more like terrain as well, because we've got. It more comes rocks. with more obstacles as well. And so you, we haven't really talked much about the obstacles. What happens if you were to fly into an obstacle? Generally, bad things. Oh, don't do that then. Yeah, don't don't okay. fly into rocks. Um, okay. Uh, they they will smash your spaceship apart. Okay. Um, there's different sorts of obstacles that have different effects in the game. Right. Um, but generally, flying into them, no, no. It's a bad thing. Is it generally a bad thing? Okay. Right. I'm going to go first with this guy. Yeah. So this guy's going to do what we do a, call a Cooligan turn. Oh, okay. He's, he's going to fly over the top of you yep. and spin around and yep. get behind you. So what I need to do is I just need to put a little marker on the side there. Yeah. Because obviously we, my, my ship is going to go right through where yours is going. Okay. Sorry. Abby, could you be so kind as to move my ship three yes. forwards? Yeah. Spin him round. Oh, no. <laughs> he's going to sit there. Okay. And then, and then we'll put your ship back. Okay. These are very useful. Yeah, having little things yeah. So you can take things on off. Now, that, I don't like where this has gone, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think you would. That's a red manoeuvre. Okay. Now, we, have, we haven't looked at red manoeuvres, mm -hmm. but you've got three different colours of move. You've yep. got a blue, a white, and a red. Mm. Red manoeuvres are stressful. Yeah. Um, oh, so you've stressed your pilot out. My pilot is like, he's like going, ah! <laughs> I can't believe I just ah! did that! Um, <laughs> Which means that I don't get to take a focus token or an evade token or do any other actions oh, so it's because you. he's he's so busy concentrating on that. Yeah. So he's done a red move. Next turn, if I want to get rid of that stress token, yeah. I have to do a blue move, okay. which is an easy move. Okay, so you, he needs to just calm the heart rate back down, yeah, bring it just back down. Casual two forwards or something, yeah. you know, nothing that's going to stress me out. Just so a little stroll through space. <laughs> he's done that one, and then this guy, he's done a hard one. Mm -hmm because I think you're coming this way, because that's the way your ship is pointing. He's going to do a hard one to there. And then he is going to do a barrel roll. Oh, OK. So a barrel roll is when your ship, you know, you've seen it in like movies, it, it spins onto the side that way. Yep. So to do that, you just put a template like that. And then you can go to the front or to the middle or to yep. the back. I think I want to go to the f as far forward as I can 
but I don't get to have any tokens to modify my dice with this turn. Because you did a barrel roll? Because I did a barrel roll. Okay. And you only get to do one, generally you only get to do one action. There are okay. tricks to getting around that, but most ships move, take an action. Right, what has the X-Wing done? Well, you haven't done at all what I thought you were going to do. Okay. <laughs> um, I have done a... like One bank. Well, yeah, just, I'm just turning just casual... that way. <laughs> I'm not stressed at all. I'm, <laughs> it's like, I'm like... Mah. Let's have a lazy flight. I can take these guys. Um, but not with that kind of uh, <laughs> flying. So have I bumped into you or have we just we, missed each we, other? Let's just say we've just missed each other because oh, okay. I'll feel bad if you don't have a focus token okay. for me shooting you. <laughs> okay, thanks. So let's give you that focus token. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> so let's do some shooting. Yeah. I'm going to check range. Should we use the advanced rules now? Do I get the extra dice? Go on, at range you, yeah, Are let's, we at let's range do one? It. Let's see what happens. So no. we are no, just no, outside. Oh, it's very close. I think I'm just out. Okay, fine. So I get two red dice. Okay. Nothing. Okay, nothing. I've rolled a focus on the blank, so I don't hurt you. Okay. You obviously don't have anything to shoot this turn. No, I don't. No. Um, and neither does your other... Neither does no. my other ship. Okay. Well, I think... Do you know what? Let's just call it Let's there. Call Let's, there. My, <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried, but, you know, I'm just going to fly off in that direction and yeah. head off the Let's end of the table. Let's go back to the rebel base. Way. Yeah. Luke can go and handle that. Just going to go, know. like, lick my wounds and then come back and sort out these TIE fighters. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the sort of the basics of, of how X-Wing works. It's very that, quick and very easy to pick up. It's very quick and very easy. And, actually, it's, it's really good fun. I mean, yeah. you didn't do at all what I thought you were going to do there, so I have to kind of get inside your mind and yeah. work out what's it's going very on. Much got that sort of whole chess thing going yeah. on of am I going to out position my opponent yeah you know it, it's it's a lot of fun there's a lot that goes into the game for sure yeah um, well thank you so so much for coming and showing me how to play x -Wing. very welcome thank you for having me oh, thank you until next time thank you very much Thanks. bye, bye. <laughs> okay it's going off this way <laughs> <laughs> run, <Bye>. run 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 <laughs>